Good morning. We are on Friday, the 3rd of, of February, 2023. I'm going to be recording day 174. No, actually, 175. Micah, chapters 1, chapters 2, chapters 3. Jose 10 and the Gospel of John 18 1 to 27. I'm aware of the time so I'm going to just directly um, read the readings. I, I do not have time to pray the prayers I normally pray beforehand because I'm watching the clock. Yes, I wasn't going to record but I will in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Micah, chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Micah of Moresheth in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. The title Judgment pronounced against Samaria. Hear you peoples, all of you, hearken, O earth, and all that is in it, and let the Lord God be a witness against you. The Lord from his holy temple, for behold, the Lord is coming forth out of his place and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth and the mountains will melt under him and the valleys will be cleft like wax before the fire like waters poured down a steep place all this is for the transgression of Jacob and for the sins of the house of Israel what is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what is the sin of the house of Judah? Is it not Jerusalem? Therefore, I will make Samaria a heap in the open country, a place for planting vineyards, and I will pour down her stones into the valley and uncover her foundations. All her images shall be beaten to pieces. All her hires shall be burned with fire. And all her idols I will lay waste. For from the hire of a harlot she gathered them. And to the hire of a harlot they shall return. The next title the doom of the cities of Judah. For this I will lament and wail. I will go stripped and naked. I will make lamentation like the jackals and mourning like the ostriches. For her wound is incurable and it has come to Judah. It has reached to the gate of my people, to Jerusalem. Tell it not in Gath, weep not at all, in Bethlehem, roll yourselves in the dust, pass on your way, inhabitants of Shapir, in nakedness and shame. The inhabitants of Zayanan do not come forth, the wailing of Beth Ezel shall take away from you its standing place. For the inhabitants of Maroth wait anxiously for good, because evil has come down from the Lord to the gate of Jerusalem. Harness the steeds to the chariots, inhabitants of Lashish. You were the beginning of sin to the daughter of Zion, for in you were found the transgressions of Israel. Therefore, 
you shall give parting gifts to Moresheth Gath. The houses of Ashzib shall be a deceitful thing. To the kings of Israel, I will again bring a conqueror upon you. Inhabitants of Meshah, the glory of Israel, shall come to Abdullam. Make yourselves bald and cut off your hair. For the children of your delight, make yourselves as bald as the eagle. For they shall go from you into exile. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Micah chapter 2 and the title is Social Evils Denounced. Woe to those who devise wickedness and work evil upon their beds. When the morning dawns, they perform it because it is in the power of their hand. They covet fields and seize them and houses and take them away. They oppress a man and his house, a man and his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, against this family I am devising evil, from which you cannot remove your necks, and you shall not walk haughtily. For it will be an evil time. In that day they shall take up a taunt song against you and wail with bitter lamentation and say, We are utterly ruined. He changes the portion of my people. How he removes it from me. Among our captors he divides our fields. Therefore, you will have none to cast the line by lot in the assembly of the Lord. Do not preach. Thus they preach. One should not preach of such things. Disgrace will not overtake us. Should this be said, O house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord impatient? Are these his doings? Do not. My words do good to him who walks uprightly. But you rise against my people as an enemy. You strip the roll, robe from the peaceful, from those who pass by trustingly, with no thought of war. The women of my people you drive out from their pleasant houses, from their young children. You take away my glory forever. Arise and go, for this is no place to rest, because of uncleanness that destroys. With a grievous destruction, if a man should go about and utter wind and lies, saying, I will preach to you of wine and strong drink. He would be the preacher for this people. The next title, A Promise for the Remnant of Israel. I will surely gather all of you, O Jacob. I will gather the remnant of Israel. I will set them together like sheep in a fold, like a flock in its pasture a noisy multitude of men. He who opens the breach will go up before them. They will break through and pass the gate, going out by it. Their king will pass on before them and the Lord at their head. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God, a reading from Micah chapter 3 and the title is Wicked Rulers and Prophets Hear, you heads of Jacob and rulers of the house of Israel 
It is not for you to know justice. You who hate the good and love the evil, who tear the skin from off my people and their flesh from off their bones, who eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them and break their bones in pieces and chop them up like meat in a kettle, like flesh in a cauldron. Then they will cry to the Lord, but he will not answer them. He will hide his face from them at that time because they have made their deeds evil. Thus says the Lord concerning the prophets who lead my people astray, who cry, Peace, when they have something to eat, but declare war against him, who puts nothing into their mouths. Therefore, it shall be night to you without vision and darkness to you without divination. The sun shall go down upon the prophets and the day shall be black over them. The seers shall be disgraced and the diviners put to shame. They shall all cover their lips for there is no answer from God. But as for me, I'm filled with power, with the spirit of the Lord and with justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Hear this, you heads of the house of Jacob, the rulers of the house of Israel, who abhor justice and pervert all equity, who build Zion with blood and Jerusalem with wrong. Its heads give judgment for a bribe. Its priests teach for hire. Its prophets divine for money. Yet they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord in the midst of us? No evil shall come upon us. Therefore, because of you, Zion, shall be ploughed as a field, Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins and the mountain of the house a wooded height the word of the lord thanks be to god so now we have to go to hosea 10 a reading from the book of hosea chapter 10 and the title is, Israel is a luxuriant, no, my eyes, I read the first part, my eyes, I've, I got cataracts, they're a bit watery today. Israel's sin and captivity. Now it is. Israel is a luxuriant vine that yields its fruit. The more his fruit increased, the more altars he built. As his country improved, he improved his pillars. Their heart is false. Now they must bear their guilt. The Lord will break down their altars and destroy their pillars. For now they will say, We have no king, for we fear not the Lord. And a king, what could he do for us? They utter mere words. With empty oaths, they make covenants. So judgment springs up like poisonous weeds in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria tremble. For the calf of beth -Haven, its people shall mourn for it and its idolatrous priests shall wail over it, over its glory which has departed from it. <clears throat> Yea, <clears throat> the thing itself shall be carried to Assyria as tribute to the great king. Ephraim shall be put to shame, and Israel shall be ashamed 
of his idol. Samaria's king shall perish like a chip on the face of the waters. The high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. Thorn and thistle shall grow up on their altars, and they shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and up to the hills, fall upon us. From the days of Gibeah you have sinned, O Israel. There they have continued. Shall not war overtake them in Gibeah? I will come against the wayward people to chastise them, and nations shall be gathered against them when they are chastised for their double iniquity. Ephraim was a trained heifer that loved to thresh, and I spared her fair neck. But I will put Ephraim to the yoke. Judah must plough, Jacob must harrow for himself. Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap the fruit of steadfast love. Break up your fallow ground, for it is the time to seek the Lord, that he may come and rain salvation upon you. You have ploughed iniquity, you have reaped injustice, you have eaten the fruit of lies, because you have trusted in your chariots and in the multitude of your warriors. Therefore, the tumult of war shall rise among your people and all your fortresses shall be destroyed. As shall man destroyed Beth Abel on the day of battle. Mothers were dashed in pieces with their children. Thus it shall be done to you, O house of Israel, because of your great wickedness in the storm, the king of Israel shall be utterly cut off the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 18. The betrayal and arrest of Jesus. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples across, across the Kidron Valley, where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place. For Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas, procuring a band of soldiers and some officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, went there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to befall him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When he said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again, he asked them, Whom do you seek? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you seek me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word which he had spoken. Of those whom thou gavest me, I lost not one. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it 
and struck the high priest's slave and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which the Father has given me? The next title. Jesus before the high priest. So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews seized Jesus and bound him. First they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had given counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. The next title, Peter Denies Jesus. Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. As this disciple was known to the high priest, he entered the court of the high priest along with Jesus while Peter stood outside at the door. So the other disciple, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to the maid, who kept the door, and brought Peter in. The maid who kept the door said to Peter, Are you not also one of this man's disciples? He said, I am not. Now the servants and officers had made a charcoal fire because it was cold and they were standing and warming themselves. Peter also was with them standing and warming himself. The next title. The high priest questions Jesus. The high priest then questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in synagogues and in the temple, where all Jews come together. I have said nothing secretly. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I have said to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the officers standing by struck Jesus with his hand, saying, Is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken wrongly, bear witness to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Annas then sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest, the next title. Peter denies Jesus again. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They said to him, Are not you also one of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest a kinsman of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter and again denied it, and at once the cock crowed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance and may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And hopefully I'll be able to record the next um, day tomorrow when I get back from my hometown. God bless you all in the meantime. Have a wonderful, peaceful, joyful day and weekend. Thank you.